Buenos días, buenos días, buenos días. How's everybody feeling? We're good? Eventful We're good, words. I think. Shit! <laughs> it's a live podcast, baby. Most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. Yeah. Internal podcast, just got to love them. Love when it's just our group because we get to it's our check ins. It's kind of a kind of free game where we go with the flow as much as we can. A little strategic, right? Just a little, just a little bit. And far left, we got Jose No Way. <laughs> yeah. Pepe right next to him. Hey. We got the one and only Becca, the biggest sponsor of the podcast. The right biggest, here. Sponsor. biggest sponsor. She's the richest one. <laughs> and. If y'all recognize this person, was here not that long ago, Miss Jack Jack Segura in the house. Yes, thank you for joining. I'm gonna scoot over a little I bit. I got Sorry. it. I'm good. I'm We're good. good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. She's like, no, just look in the camera. In the camera. Oh. Scoot you want me to scoot in? Yeah. Right. Just a little bit over. I gotta do this whole thing because I can't do it like y'all. I'm notice, five, three on a notice how she went. <laughs> She just went. dropped. She just, she <laughs> just, just dropped. It's crazy. It's rough out here. All right. So today, uh, we are. I love TikTok. <laughs> I love TikTok. TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is something else. Yes. So there is actually a game. It's called Substance. So it has the three different levels, right? Which is mindfuck. Uh, intimacy. Intimacy. And vulnerability. And vulnerability. So we're going to each In go. No specific with, order. We're just yeah. going to be throwing some questions out there and just answer to your yeah. best of your ability. Just You're just going to hand them out. Just hand them out. No, I don't, I'm like, I'm not even... Oh, okay. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. you got it? Why well, put it on my phone? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I didn't want the cards, you know? But probably should have done that. No, how are you guys doing? I know. Bring out the cards. Where are they at? Right there. Where are they? Oh, I got you. You're tripping. <laughs> Bien no specific guardas. order? Do you want them in no specific order? Yeah, just let someone pick it out. Again, if they don't, I think the only rule to this, if you don't answer it, you have to chug your drink. That's about it. Yeah, you gotta shrug it. You're gonna lose on purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna lose on purpose. You're gonna lose on purpose on this one. Dang. Oh, so, yeah. All right, baby, start us off. You wanna start off or you wanna hand it over to. You know what? Let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. Okay. No, you know what? What's going on? You're gonna pick a card. Everybody picks a card. Everybody pick a card. Everybody pick a card. We're doing it that way today. Can I see it? Can I yeah, you can see it. You can see it. I'll pick that one. So these are all like, vulnerable. These are all so, vulnerable. Okay. All right, Jack, Jack. All right. Yeah. So am I starting? Am I reading yeah, it and everybody's up. answering? No, yeah. you're reading it and you're answering. Oh, okay. Okay. I actually, I love this question for me. Are you afraid of being alone? No. Um, I think I've gotten really comfortable with being alone and just doing my own thing and enjoying myself i love my alone time um so no i am not afraid to be alone i actually enjoy it como dicen esta es mejor estar sola que mal acompañada and that yes. is the biggest truth that i have yeah, that i've heard yeah your circle definitely dip you don't want to be around those those las malas vibras because it just throws everything off it really does yeah, no, we don't hang out with those people. What about you? Does anybody else want to answer that question, though? Do you, Are you guys comfortable being alone? I hate being alone. You know that one already. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. Why, though? I enjoy my own company when I know when I'm busy. But when I have to, like, really go do stuff alone, sometimes I have to get out of my own, like, shell because, like, I want somebody's company. Like, whether it's my friends, whether it's my parents, whether it's just... Even just being on the phone with somebody, I don't know. I hate, I hate the feeling of alone because it's scary. I guess being in, being in that one place for a couple of times, it's like, man, my thoughts when I'm alone do get a little dark. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm gonna call somebody. Or <laughs> hey, let me hit you up. Hey, what are you doing? But yeah, of course. It but I'm sense. not afraid to go eat alone, which I did next, last week. And they were like, a table for... I'm like, no. <laughs> sorry. Just one. Bien triste. Bien triste. They Bien like, triste. Oh, oh, okay. They're like, damn, this guy has no friends. Yeah, no. Pobrecito. No one was available. <laughs> Everyone was busy. Anybody else want to answer that one? I feel like 
I, you guys know me. You, I like being alone. I like going to places alone, I like driving alone. But I feel like once you found that person of like, you can be alone, but then they're right then next to you, you get comfortable with that, that company, like how you said. Yeah. But then when you lose that person, it's like, oh, like, I hate being alone now. It's like, um, I got, like at night, it just gets, how you said, dark. But you need to get comfortable with yourself and like have those thoughts, but then still be okay the next morning and get up and do what you got to do. Right. Yeah. I think now that I'm thinking about it, I'm with Dusk because I like being alone. I like getting things done when I'm alone. I feel like I'm more productive that way. But if I'm being so for real, I'm always on the phone. Like I'm always talking to somebody. I love being social. Like I love having that interaction with people. So like, I understand completely what he was saying. And me personally, I think I used to like being alone. But now that I've been around actual good friends, Yes. I hate being alone now, you know, and it's and it's similar to what he said. It's when I'm alone, I start thinking all these things, you know, it gives you time to think to rabbit mm -hmm. hole. It is. So it's one of those things where it's like it's good if you're in a good mental space. But if you're in a bad mental space at that moment, oof, being alone can those it's different. Eat you alive. They do. And that's the crazy They're part. Right. Crazy. So, yeah. What's your question? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's your question? Puffing and puffing over there. I am. What was your biggest struggle this past year? Ooh. This past year, huh? 2023? Hmm. I do want to say the biggest struggle, I think, was, was letting go of that. Of who we used to be, who I used to be. Um. Letting go of relationships, friendships that were just not going anywhere. Like, it wasn't doing anything good and positive in my life. It wasn't helping me in business. It wasn't helping me mentally, emotionally. So I think the biggest, the biggest struggle was learning how to let go, right? I think we all get to that point where it's like, I know... This isn't working, but I, I'm going to hang on to this. Like, hasta que ya no se pueda más. And the more you hang on, the more you carry that person or those people. Like, it's, a, it's literally like an anchor. So you're just slowing down your progress. And boom, as soon as, yeah, letting go of certain people, I seen us excel in a, in a rate that I was like, damn, like, it can be this good. Could have been that way all along. Yeah, what if I would have done it sooner? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's. The um, it didn't it didn't change like no 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 I have a follow up question to that <laughs> <laughs> the more the more it progressed like the outcome was always the same it's just I hope for a different outcome but it's just it didn't surprise me right we expected better but we got what we got because we we knew it so yeah what was your biggest struggle last year. No, you have, have to. to go. <laughs> Last year? I uh, feel like just being accepted in the path that I was going to. Because I knew it was that path of, like, being isolated in order for me to be here. Because I had to go through isolation for my business to grow. I had to be in isolation for to make money, right? And then now that I have at least some few steps into that, um, I able to be around you guys more often. I'm yeah. able to be around uh, my family more often. I'm able to be around just just be outside of my room or outside of or if you just want to be metaphorically speaking, be outside of my mind because I I get to <clears throat> not just think about how am I going to survive the next day, how am I going to breathe, right? Now I'm able to do that. So I feel like that was the biggest struggle, like just having people accept that, that I needed to go through that. Do you want me to answer it? Didn't you want to go? I can go. Okay, go. Um, my biggest struggle last year was probably learning to pick myself because I had been in, like, such a routine of life of always, like, um, if somebody needed me, I would go do them first, help them out first, and then I would take care of myself if I even had energy after. So, yeah, definitely, like, picking myself. I literally did not start doing that until this year. So, and, yeah. I think my biggest struggle last year was accepting that I can't really control everything. Uh, I can't control who's a part of my life. I can't control how life works out in general. 
how uh, anything happens pretty much. So I think I've always liked schedules, routines. So just accepting that things may not go my way was probably the hardest. And I think that that was a good lesson that I learned because this year things ain't going my way just right now. So <laughs> it's a good thing that I learned it. So better yeah. late than never, right? Better late than never. Exactly. Right. It's just crazy. It took what, like 30 something years for me to learn it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What's your question? Right, what was your question? What's your question? Damn, she's she's nervous. Like, I don't want to see it. Like, oh, no. My question is: Are you content with your life? I am. I'm pretty satisfied. I think I'm like over satisfied. I'm pretty happy with the things I've accomplished in this last literally three months, or in the first three months of the year, and I can't wait to see what else I can do. That's do you crazy. feel like you have that room to grow? Like I, I understand you're content with life, but. Do you, do you fear that you're going to get comfortable or are you that person like, oh, I, w I want, I'm content with my life right now, but I will want to succeed even more. Yeah. And how can sure. I add on to that? I don't think I'm ever like, I'm content right now just because all the changes just happened. Like I'm still like, you can see the future. Of I'm it new of it. to everything that I just, I just received. So I'm content with what's on my plate right now, but I know that's not going to last and I'm going to have to fill up my plate soon anyways. So. I'm happy, but I'm there's a hundred percent room for more. Are you content with your life? I am content with my life. I have had a lot of changes happen too in the last few months. Twenty twenty four is just coming aggressively, but um, more so, I feel content in my life, and it's with the simplest things. It's with the people that I'm around. It's the activities that I do. It's what I spend my time doing. It's little things. It's not materialistic or anything like that, but it makes me happy with just everything that I surround myself with. And that makes me want more. I am content with everything that I have and everything that I do, but I want more. And I, I see myself growing more. So even in 2024, I went through like a whirlwind like you, Pepe, like last year. And now I'm like, I feel peaceful. And I feel at peace, and I'm like, if I feel good, it's only from de aquí para arriba. Yeah. That's right. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was good. Wow, that was <laughs> these, these games, just, man. Just, just, just my thoughts. What about you, Jose? Are you content with life? Uh, I'm happy with life, but I'm not really content with life. I, I feel like I'm not, at least my, my how my mind works, I'm never going to be content with life because I always want to strive to be better. So it's like... I will, I'm I'm happy where I'm at, but I know I can do better, and I know where I want to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and then I guess I'll answer it too, right? Because everyone's answering the questions. <laughs> well, see, I can. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in a long time, I'm not, and that's what's crazy. Uh, well, I mean, Dusko knows. I think it's he's the only one that I've actually told. But uh, what was it? Last week, our company decided, hey, we're gonna restructure. So there's no real room for you. So uh, here it is. It's your last day, and I'm like, all right, cool, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Which is fine though, right? Because I think I was getting a little bit too comfortable with life. Yeah. Mm. So we've always said it, and Genesis says it best. There's a blessing in the redirection. So I don't know what life has in store right now. At this very moment, I'm lost as shit. Like I feel lost in the sense that I don't know what I'm doing next. What's my next step? Like, do what? What do I focus on? You know. So I think for the first time in a long time, uh, I feel lost. So I'm not really content, but like, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's like that, uh, what's that? Like, even like our parents style is like, las cosas pasan por una razón. Like, yeah, yeah. todo pasa por algo. Por, yeah. por algo, like whether it's um, to find yourself, whether it's to lose certain people in your life, yeah. whether it's to gain people in your life, a new opportunity, right? Like, um, have, have you guys heard of the burnt toast theory? No. The burnt toast theory. I did, I did. I have. Yeah. But I'm going to let you explain it. I'm going to let you explain Please it. explain. No, please I'm explain right. it. The burnt crazy. toast theory. So the burnt toast theory. So uh, we had posted a, a TikTok of uh, Los Desvelados uh, when yeah. they went to a party and because their truck wasn't working properly, it didn't want to start. So they got to their tocada late. Them arriving late, that party got shot up, unfortunately. So the people started putting like the burnt toast theory. And I'm like... El pan se quemó, que <laughs> ¿Cuál pinche pan? And it says, it's basically the theory that if you burn your toast in the morning or something challenging happens, 
The time you spend making another toast may have saved you from a car accident, or maybe it makes you late to a meeting but puts you in the net and the exact time and place to meet someone special that you wouldn't have met otherwise. So the next time you face a failure, trust the process. Everything happens for a reason. So it's like you're my toast. Yeah. <laughs> every, every morning. <laughs> so it's just like things always happen for one reason or another. You like it's hard to understand in the moment because you're like, fuck, what's next? What's tomorrow? Yeah, exactly. Like I've been used to this fucking person or this scenario, this job for X amount of time. I don't know what tomorrow looks like or what next week or a year from now. But hey, maybe us getting late to someone or us being late to some place or something. It saved us from something. Mm -hmm. Things happen for you, not to you. Right? <laughs> Better late than never, right? You tell her 11. <laughs> That's 11. Better late than never. <laughs> you right. just need to tell her, I need you here at 11 so she shows up. No, at 10. So she shows up at 11. We're going to tell her 9. We're going to tell her 9 a.m. Shots fired. Right. Another one? Another one. Okay. Now she knows. Yeah, I still one? have one. Hold you up. You still Jose, have one? Yeah, Jose and I have a question. All so right. what trait of yours tends to push people away? Mm. Mm. Damn. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't push people away. What you mean? <laughs> what trait of mine? I don't cheat. I attract. I don't know. Mm. That's right. I Let's attract. go with that. That is a good one. That's a red flag. How indifferent I, <laughs> how indifferent I can be. I think, I think that's my trait that pushes people away. How indifferent I can, I can act towards you. Like I can love you really, really hard. But do something to me and I'll pretend you don't exist. Like anything you do, I don't care. And the thing is, is I will care. I'll just pretend like I don't. Yeah. Like you don't exist. Like, all right, cool. I don't give a fuck about you. When deep down, I'm like, damn, that's my best friend. <laughs> but I think, I think that's it. What about you? Um, like that, the therapy talk goes into it as like, it's a self-destructivism. Like, I tend to push people away just, like, just because I'm scared to get too close. But I feel like you shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to bother you with my feelings. But I'm starting to learn not to do that. <laughs> you said I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm working I'm on working it. I'm working on you it. You pushed me away for years. It's okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting better. We're, we're getting, getting better. Yeah, you guys can see the growth. Like, yeah, we, we see the growth. Finally got there. his location. He finally got <laughs> his location after, yeah. like, a whole, That's over a year. Though. Yeah. All right, what, for you, what's... Um, I think... I know that I'm like a little bit, well, I know that I'm like monotone all the time, kind of when I talk, like I'm just like, so like a right neutral now. like <laughs> conversation kind of. <laughs> so I, I think that my, what is it? The What trait of trait. yours tends to yeah, push people away? Yeah, is that I just like, I'm just chill about everything. Like I don't really show like too much emotion, even though I do really, really, really care. Like I'm just going to be like, all right, cool. Oh, I know. Like if somebody's like, um, like they can literally say anything and I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. But, like, I don't ask people, like, hey, how was your day? Like, I think it's the way you respond to people things. people ask me how my day is, I'll be like, oh, it was good. I'm not going to be like, yeah. oh, how was yours? You know, like, what did you do today? I, I care, but I'm also, like, not going to ask. It's like, I care, but I don't yeah. care that much. Yeah. No, I do care. I do care. I do care. I, just, like, no, I, just I do care. I just, it doesn't, like, I'm not the type of person to, I am, but I'm not. Like, yeah. I'll do it over the phone, but not, I won't do it through text. Okay. Like, I'm not going to text you, like. Oh, hope you had a good day today. Da, da, da. Like, I'm not doing that. But maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> I mean, over everybody's the phone. a little different. Everyone yeah. expresses, yeah. Yeah. You Telepathically. You it's me? no. What did I tell you? You're like, oh, if you would have just spoken to me, I would have understood it. Yeah, I don't read your mind. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, that's true. That's true. In the delivery. I I true. Just, I just, well, okay. Fucking delivery. Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> like hey, is she kidding? Or like, does she hate me? Bro, like, I was gonna tell you to pull up. He's like, but why didn't you? You yeah. just waited me to read well, your I mind. Well, was free. Yeah. That's wild. Uh, was it you had a we had a one? Have you read yours? Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> before oh, before just... before I read it, I kind of read it in advance. But before I read it, you guys know I'm a I'm a coach. My athlete just hit 400 pounds. She's a 82 kg lifter. Ooh. Fabby, I know you told me to put it on the pod. So. <laughs> oh, that's great job, proud of you. That's a good right. coach right there. Before Dang. before Jose says his question though, do, do either one of you want to answer that question? What trait of y'all's tends to push people away? We answered it on our on did you yeah what was yours oh, shit, give the people a reminder say it, say it again a list a list <laughs> <laughs> how would you read it off of me <laughs> you tell me uh a trait of mine that i feel like pushes people away is i think it falls in place of like with everybody 
I'm I'm gonna love you and love you very hard, fully, no questions asked. But at the moment I feel your betrayal, the moment I feel you did me wrong, or you fucked my trust up, I'm very easy to let go. Like, don't reach me, don't talk to me, don't even show up where I'm at. Like, there is no way you're coming back. As much as I may want you to, it's like, how can I come back from this? I can't. Yeah. Like, you already fucked this up. Yeah. And I gave you everything possible, every opportunity, every chance, every emotion. You see me from the worst to the best, and you still decided to do this? My thing is, I can love you hard today, but if you fuck me over tomorrow, I'm gone. I'm, you can cut people off real quick. Yeah, I won't block you. I want you to try. <laughs> I'm just not gonna answer. <laughs> I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna I want. I want you to know that I'm ignoring you. I want to see you beg. Yeah, I want to. I want to see you <laughs> ring. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. He's like, I, I want block. you to beg me to be a part of your life again. I move. <laughs> Dude, That's nah. crazy. So I think that's just mine. It's oh, you don't care. I did, and you just you just didn't give enough. You didn't yeah. care enough to keep me around, and but yeah, I won't block. Try it. I just won't answer you. That's right. crazy. crazy. What about real, yours? Real, real. You know what? See, it's... because you're you're so happy on social media. I you're know. so, oh, so positive. smiling, so positive. Shop a... segura, <laughs> always on the fit. This and this. I'm but... not. Even, I'm not even gonna lie. It was a little hard for me to like formulate a question because I was like, dang, I feel like I'm the so the opposite of. I'm not saying that like I'm perfect, but it's just like I, my goal is always to like make people feel welcome and be friendly. Like, but. I think it's similar to like you guys, because even though on the outside, I seem very happy and bright. If something happens, if shit goes down, <laughs> you're dead to me. Like you are dead to me. And, and you are dead to me. But That's like, crazy. seriously, like, let's say, you know, for whatever reason, something happens, they do something to me. I don't like it. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna, I don't fuck with that. I'm not mm -hmm. going to move forward with that. Like I will, ignore it mm. blocked even though it seems like what the hell happened like it's just, maybe like a silent treatment i don't want to say as a silent treatment but it's just like you're not gonna hear from me you're not gonna know from me and it's just like a ball dropped so do you let people know what they did wrong though Ooh. when that oh happens like do you care like, enough do you, to have a conversation okay honestly with them? honestly no <laughs> I, well, it depends. It depends on the situation. Okay. Like, if I feel like I it needs to be communicated, yes. But if I know that there's not going to be any outcome that they're not going to understand me, I'm just like, ah, it's not worth yeah, communicating. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I'm like, if you're not understanding, first of all, if it's somebody that, like, that gets me and, you know, it's like, oh, you're going to see my side of the story, then I'll explain to you. But if you're really just, like, if we're not vibing on the same level, then why am I going to waste my time explaining to you how I feel? Si te vale madre. Yeah, like, yeah. So in that case, no, I, I won't say anything. I'll just be like, hey, if that makes sense. Like, what about you, Dusko? What I tell you? Yeah. I got better at it. Like, I'll you tell you what the fuck it. <laughs> All right, so that's a no. <laughs> I'm working that's on no. it. Working I'll, on it. I'll tell you, like, what you messed up on, but okay. it's, it's just how she said I got to see, like, if something's going to change. Like, if I really see you not even caring of what's happening, why should I even waste my time? Yeah. Me not answering you anymore is, is that an answer. answer. It's yeah. an answer already, as it is. Like, yeah. it, it depends on who. It depends on what happened. But why are you laughing, Becca? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what you got to say? Say it with your no. chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. No, keep going. That's a first. That's crazy. Oh. That's a first. She's spicy today. She is. She is. Well, she ready. She yeah, I think it, just, it depends on who, depends on the situation. But if you knew you fucked up, I, I heard it before. If you're saying I'm sorry, it's because you already knew you fucked up. Exactly. I just don't want to hear it no more. But cada uno. Cada quien. Cada quien. Cada quien. Ni modo. Pero quienes somos Las cosas pasan por algo. Sorry, I interrupted you. What's your question? Who is the one person that has consistently been, been there for you? Um, but like, why not be vulnerable? As in, like, but like the that one person, because I vote people have been there for me surface level always. Like you guys, like obviously I try to be more open to you guys, but it's always surface level, and that's just how much I give. Same thing with my parents, same thing with my brother. I feel like that one person. Um, you guys know who it is. Um, unfortunately, I don't. I'm, they're not here no more. 
but uh just know that person's always been there for me i knew it i knew i didn't want to do this anymore <laughs> sorry yeah, bro it's in what is it sorry about that it's those those tears that you hold inside are they they've just been waiting to come out it's like a you're making space and room for the next chapter of your life for the next part of your life right like that's why when we recorded our internal uh the last time which i was emotional about it because it's like damn i'm about to enter this new chapter of my life and i don't know who it includes i yeah. want everybody to be included but it may just not work out that it may way just not, mm -hmm. yeah it just may not work unfortunately but you know it because that happened it we had just told jackie at the beginning of this we're gonna ask you a good question Oh, you've been saving this one for When me? was the last time you cried, <laughs> oh. and what was the reason? <laughs> okay. Dang, yeah, I was supposed to ask that good. question. That's fucked I up. Know. He, he to took it. that question from me. Okay. Uh, I'm leaving, man. <laughs> I'm leaving. Fuck this. Like I told you guys, I'm not a crier. I'm not. I'm just. I mean, I'm, I can never say I'm emotional, but I'm just not a crier. But the last time I cried was maybe three weeks ago. And it was because my dog started getting strokes. And mm. so seizures. Sorry. Dude, those little animals, I swear to God, they yeah. do something to you. And I, just the thought of everything. Of, I mean, I've had my dog for like eight years now. Yeah. And it's crazy how attached you get to those things. Like, yeah. I never thought. But just the thought of like, oh, my God, he's getting older. Things are happening. I started breaking down. I was like, just the thought of like losing him. I was like, no. And so I had a little cry sesh. I let it out. Yeah. I, I felt the tears coming in and I didn't stop it. I said, you know what? I never cry. I'm going to let it out. If you had to get after, I just felt better. I felt like I could breathe. Like my chest felt open. Physically, I felt better. So I just let it do its thing. See, people are hesitant to cry, but it helps. It really it does. Really it really does. And I mean. It's like when little kids fall and they're all crying and you want $5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that makes me feel better, dog. It really did. Yeah. So I just kind of took advantage of the moment. But it was, yeah, because my, my dog started getting like health problems. He started getting seizures. And my sister, um, like I had a video of it because we needed to send it to the vet. And seeing it, I was like. Mm. Yeah. Wait, I don't what, know if you guys have pets. What, what kind of dog do you have? It's a chihuahua. His name is Poppy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. His name is Poppy. I'm being so for real right now, but there was one time we went to San Diego, and then Jose had just recently lost his Dude, pug. Nah, <laughs> and everywhere we I'm turn, to, I'm not trying to cry again, <laughs> bro. You have a pet. Yeah. Oh, you you know what it's like. Yes, my my it's pug crazy. died. Yeah. Oh. yeah. R.P. Joby. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> I still have Thor, though. He's my pit. I love him. But, man, Joby. Joby had a place in my heart. Everywhere we turned, there was a pug. Yeah. yeah. It, it was. I see. Yeah, I seen it. I, I seen know, it. And I got super, like, I got really bad anxiety it's... yesterday. I almost cried yesterday because Pets I took my do dog to the vet because he had an ear infection. He's, it's happened before, like, two years ago, and I'd taken him. They, um, they don't put him to sleep, but they put him under anesthesia <sighs> to be able to clean his ears out, right? So they did the same thing yesterday. Um, to your pug? To my dog, yeah. Ugh. So then, no, they just put him to, like, uh, anesthesia, under anesthesia. Oh, well, they feel a certain way oh for pug. God. I know. Hold on. So then. He's going to start crying right now. I dropped, oh I dropped him off at He's 12, like, and then away. they told I'm me, I'm going to call Dang. you in, like, three or four hours. So at 4 o'clock, I'm not getting called. It's 5 o'clock, I'm not getting called. I'm a worried mom. It's 6 p.m. <laughs> no one's called me, right? So I'm like, what the hell? I'm blowing up their phone. I have like two different numbers. I'm calling both of them on my way there. And I'm like, dude, I walk in and the this receptionist is not even sitting there. And I'm like, if they're fucking doing CPR on my dog right now and they're not fucking telling me, like, they didn't even have me sign, like, uh, they make you sign, I don't know if you guys know this, but they make you guys sign, um, like, DNR, yeah. all of that yeah, stuff yeah, for yeah. dogs too. Uh, they, but they yeah. didn't make me sign. was fine for his life, not, not resuscitating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, they didn't make me sign it this time, but last time they did. So I was like, they didn't make me sign anything this time. So are they just going to let him die? Like, and he's obviously two years older. Like, girl, I'm thinking the worst, but I'm like, my nephew's in the car with me. So I'm like, girl, just drive. <laughs> I keep dialing, hang up, dial again, drive. Like, I'm just like, there's the whole drive. I mean, That's it was crazy. like a 10 minute drive, but still like. I was like in fumes. But I it was, was like an hour, dude. You yeah. made it sound like it was and the longest drive of your life. Walked out and I was like, I need an update on my dog. And she's like, I'll bring him out right now. And I was like, you fucking bitch. Like, 
It's you could have answered the phone. You could have called me. My it's dog okay, by the way. It's crazy. <laughs> the, it's just crazy. Yeah, like, do you guys have pets? I do. I yeah. have my German Shepherd who is, damn, I think he's 12 years old now. So he's, damn, damn my guy, he's, well, he's, he's, hanging, he's, hanging, he's hanging in there. Yeah. He's hanging in there. But just I think, waddles. No, literally, like, now he struggles to get up, but I'm like, damn, bro. But I got him right after high school, so yeah. he's been, well, he, technically he's my dad's dog now because he stays with him all the You've time. You've been out of high school for 12 years? No, 10. 10. 10. <laughs> yeah, sorry, the math doesn't match. <laughs> but, yeah, it's 10 years, but what is that? In dog years, it's like seven. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Times seven, right? Times seven. Yeah. It is. Well, RMP, RMP too. RMP, man. Nah, don't do it. So, yeah. shout out to everybody that answered on the not gonna lie ones. There's some wild ones. The first thing that pops into mind, just say it. All right, we read out the scenario. First thing that pops into the mind, Reading just okay. are you gonna skip any? Nah, nah, nah. We're going at it. We're going That's at it. Know. Oh no, I ain't. That's what I would really want to know. He's read it already. Too. Yeah. <laughs> so you know first which one? one. First one goes. How fucking annoying it is to be with a man <laughs> who keeps showing he doesn't care about you, but says he does. Doesn't leave, but shows no interest or effort. Girl, let that man go. Let that man let go. Let that man go. Like why he's just bored. Also, and you're convenient. Like, why are you still there? <laughs> exactly. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Like, believe actions, not words. Yeah. Personally. Yep. That's, that's my, my take. Believe actions, not words. My boys, anything? I believe actions, not, not <laughs> words. Honestly, why is she there? Literally. Yeah. Why is she there? Why go back? Yeah. He's why proven does she to stay? you over and over, like what he's, what he wants, what he's capable of, what he's doing. It's so easy to talk. It's so easy to just blurt out and say, "I love you." This, this, and that. You're the best girl, and he's not showing it. Just know your worth. Know your worth and leave. Mm-hmm. She's speaking from experience. It sounds. I'm gonna hit it. Hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like, I need a sip of this drink. I, like, was like, I need a shot. <laughs> okay, it was me who wrote it. Sorry. All right. Again, first thing that pops into mind. My ex begged me to go back with him, and after some time, I decided to give him another chance. But at that point, he rejected me. Why are guys like this? He blamed you for going back. Okay, I think that's just like an ego boost. Right? Like, they just do it just to see if they can get you back. And then the minute you yeah. do come back, you're like, never mind. You know what? But I, it's just for I themselves. Just... No, no, no. Go ahead. I need okay. to know how long it <laughs> took her to give him a chance. Because I'm not going to beg you for, like, a year or two years. Like, straight up. If I want you back, I'll, like, I'll, I'll hit you up for X amount of months. But if you're literally months. fucking waiting two years. <laughs> two years? Two years? <laughs> But That's shit. A That's That's a time. Time. I, need know, I need to know the time. Dude. I need to know a time frame. Yeah. How long was he begging you to go back? And why did it take why did it take you long to why did it go take back? you X amount of time? So I just need to know. I just yeah. need to know the time. Like, oh I'm, I'm ready. I'm who are you? Who this? <laughs> you kept the old one too, white line. I know what, what the dead. Where's the new one at? I just got a new number. Oh my god. <laughs> she got a new number, no new phone. <laughs> Chale. The number I is get a new phone. Please. Get a new My phone. phone is fine, you guys. It's brand new. Look, it, it, it just doesn't store anything. <laughs> <laughs> Send it through what one time. Is that like a five? Email me. Like a seven. Email me. <laughs> Sometimes they don't load either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first thing that pops into mind. What do you do when your baby daddy pops up after eight years looking for his daughter? New number, who this? Damn. Literally new number, who this? Dang. I don't know. I don't have any kids. Know you know so. what? As a as a child of divorcees, I think I can relate to this. Um, it's hard though because, like, after eight years, it's you know, at the end of the day, that's the father of mm-hmm. your daughter. Yeah. No matter what happens, no matter, and that's the father. Like, I think no one's going to be able to replace that relationship, mm-hmm. like him, like her. So it's really sticky because it's like. Well, you treated me like shit for like you didn't need la buscaste for the last eight years, but at the end of the day, that's her dad. Like yeah. that is him. It's not going to be anybody else. So it's hard because if you, not me bringing up my daddy issues, but <laughs> <laughs> but but it's just hard. <laughs> I can, and I just thought about her dog named Poppy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 The issues be issuing, huh? Charlie. 
layers are unlit or <laughs> unraveling. Right <laughs> <laughs> All right, as a single mother to a ten-year-old son, who wants to grow up to be this strong, tough little man? Show him how, in a woman's perspective, since I don't have any respectable male role models he can look up to. Ooh. Wait, what was the question? So, as read it again, as a single mother to a ten-year-old son. Who wants to grow up to be a strong, tough little man? How can I show him how to be a man when I don't have any respectable male role models around him? Oh, I see. Oh. Damn. Damn. That's, that's, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. He's going to grow up with a kind heart, <laughs> protect yeah. his mom, everything for his mom, but it's just show him how to be a good human. Right? That's the best yeah. you can do. If you don't yeah. have respectable male figures, yeah. then just show him how to be a kind person, a good yeah. person all around. Try your best. Try your best. Just I mean, that's all you best. can do. That's all you can do. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you don't need a male figure or to know what a good person or the right and wrongs is. Right. Exactly. To be a man, right? Yeah. Obviously, like, I mean, I grew up with my dad, but I obviously I can't answer for that. But um, he taught me how to, like, push through, how to, like, fix a tire or whatever. But to be a, a good person, he didn't have, he just taught me just how to be genuine. Same as my mom and my dad. All right. Should we bring that one up or should we just leave it out? <laughs> just, I mean, it's said, not going to lie. It's up to you. All right. Someone asked, whatever happened between us and a certain someone in our podcast? People leave. Thank you. Uh, the time they're meant to leave. Let's just leave it at that. People go apart. It just yeah, happens. of course. Wish him the best. Always. Mm -hmm. All the time. Good positive vibes all around. Good luck to you. Que te vaya bien, pero just not around here. Okay. Que te vas con la sombrita. All right. Do you guys believe in the right person at the wrong time? <laughs> what? <laughs> right person, wrong time? Wrong. Right person, wrong time. Mm, no. I don't believe like, in believe that. that? I believe that? I think that everything happens for a reason and if that person was really the right person it would have been at the right time if it por más que te la pasaste that person then if it's right person wrong time that person was there to teach you a lesson and you know advance you and make you a better person for whatever comes next in your life but if it's i don't believe in wrong right person wrong time. same mm -hmm. same vibe. it's a great follow up what yeah. do you what who do you get over? How do you get over betrayal from the person you love the most? Damn. Damn. Do you actually ever get over someone that betrays you? Well, what was the betrayal? Yeah. Who's the exactly. person? I think you could come to terms with it, but. You could again, accept it, yeah. You could accept it, but to go back and trust them or love them the same way. Yeah. Yeah, no. They taught you I a lesson. I personally like to think, like, whenever I have, like, a fallout with someone that means, like, literally a lot to me or whatever, I pretend that they died. And it sounds, like, so, like, harsh, but I grieve them. I grieve whatever we had, whether it's a friend, a relationship, a family member. It is literally, I am like that. <clears throat> I grieve the relationship we had, and then I grieve them, and then I never look back because mm -hmm. they're dead. So... Like, if they did me wrong once, they're probably going to do me wrong again. So why give them the chance? Mm -hmm. So I just grieve people. I agree. So now, do you think that ever messes with your head and it kind of, uh, I guess, makes you not trust other people? I don't think I hold, like, let's say she did me wrong and the girl next to her is there. Like, I'm not going to, just because they're both there, I'm not going to think, like, that they're both going to do me wrong. Okay. Like, she's her own person. Yeah. Okay, okay. Even if they're friends, like, she didn't do me wrong. It was her. Those were her actions, you know. Okay, okay. I'm not saying you, but I'm just I saying, know. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I she had, means you. I know. <laughs> I've had friends that, like, my best friends don't get along with people. I'm going to still go say hi to them because right. they never did me wrong. They did you wrong for whatever reason, but that was yeah. not my, like, it was not my, my issue, you know. Right. So, Here, yeah. Here's the devil's advocate on that. Do you feel like you're not being loyal to your friend? Like, say, say, say that um, the person, your best friend. Say your best friend doesn't like that person because they did them wrong. Oh, dang. Like, are you, are you not going to, like, be cool with that person? Maybe keep it cordial, but are you, gonna, are you going to be cool or not cool? 
Like, do you I have just, that loyalty to your best friend? No, I, my friends know that I'm loyal to them. And I'm telling you, like, it's happened millions of times where my friends don't get along with people that are also in the room. I'm going to still go say hi because they, I don't have an issue with them. You don't have to say hi. You can stay back. You don't have to, but I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who I am as a person. I'm not, like, a follower. I'm not going to be like, oh, my friends don't like you, so now I don't like you. Like, that's not. Well, but you can always have the fact of, like, oh, like, you hurt my best friend. Like, you hurt someone that I care about, right? Like, yeah, but I'll, yeah. a lot of the times, like, at least in girls' groups, it has to do with guys, <laughs> and that's just not worth it for right, me. If it's, kinda, if it's yeah. a stupid thing, that's, then, yeah, That's I just guess. my thing. Like, most of the time, it has to right. do with guys. At least in the friend group thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah. So I just, like, I'm, like, I'm not going to not be friends with people because of some fucking loser. Right. <laughs> exactly. It depends on the context. Yeah. And if it's for I mean, a man, yeah, no, it's, it's like, like friends, no. That's what it it's is. It's not yeah, worth it. It's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. I agree. Fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Should I name drop? I'll just get it. I mean, might as well. Get to <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> initials. <laughs> initials. No. We'll start guessing. No. Nah, I think... Uh, loyalty bro it, it, it goes a long way right like yeah because it i feel like when you're you're friends with someone and someone in that room is speaking bad about you it's up to them to protect your name or your character or just stop it right there because if they're talking shit about you and you find out that person's in that same room and it still got back to you it's like whoa like you don't know if they they talk shit about you too but even if you didn't, you're just allowing it, too. Yeah. And you don't even have to hate the person. It's just like how you said, like, either stop it or just put yourself out of that situation. You guys feel like loyalty now has, like, certain levels to it? Like, I'll be loyal to you if you do this or if you're like this or you bring this to my life. I think now, like, people hold, uh, like, it at, like, like you, you have to be loyal to me, like, at this extent and then you right. to this level, you know? Yeah. I but feel like I think yes. I think there's so. There's like levels to it, I depending on who the person is and how, like your relationship is with that person too. I feel like loyalty is just loyalty, like, like how Twenty One said, Twenty One Savage. He's like, <laughs> I'll prefer lo- loyalty over love because for love you can be like, yeah, like I'm not gonna, I'm, I'll do it because I care about you. Like, oh, but yeah. loyalty is like whatever happens, like I'm loyal to you. It's like one just like a dog. Like you can yeah. hit a dog. And then you can always like, don't abuse dogs, all right? <laughs> don't abuse dogs. <laughs> but is it, Cut this is, part it out. is it Joby or Poppy? I'm just saying. <gasps> hey. Joby is Dude. it? Uh, but crazy. it's like they're always gonna go, come back to you because they're loyal to you, yeah. no matter what you do to them, loved or not. Hell yeah! All right, so let me. This is, I think, a very important question that happens more often than what people think or like to. What if one of your friends, good friend, asks you for money to borrow money? Do you let them borrow money or do you? Hey, if I don't have it, then I, <laughs> how can I give it to you? <laughs> he said, shit. He said, no tengo. Because <laughs> yeah. they say, like, you know, you let, you let them borrow whatever amount of money, whether mm-hmm. it's 100, 200, 300, whatever the case is. How do you ask for that money back? Or how do you, like, hey, I'll pay you back next week or in a day or whatever. And they don't do it. Who's in the wrong for asking for the money, right? Because they say, Oh, why are you asking for money? Like, are you dying for it? Like, do you need it? Well, I don't, but you borrowed it. But now I'm the bad person because now I'm charging right. you the money I let you borrow. So would you guys let one of your friends borrow any amount of money? I was just talking about this with my best friend this morning. Uh, how much do they owe you? I was telling her. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we disclosed that in the last podcast. Um, I was telling her, like, it's, it shouldn't be an issue for me to ask for my money back. Just the same way you were comfortable asking me for the money. Right. You should be comfortable, like, communicating with me, like, hey, this is when, or I'm going to send you this much at a time. Like, I shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable asking for my money back Mm -hmm. when you were not uncomfortable to ask for it to begin with. That's it. I also feel like if somebody's asking me for money, I'm not just going to, like, I have a certain group that it's like, I got you. I got your back for whatever you need. There's certain people in my life that if they ask for money, it's almost to the point like, I'll let you borrow it, but I'm doing this because I love you. And I mean, dependiendo, you know, every, it, it all depends on context, but like, I love you. I got you. You need my help. I got you. Yeah, like, pay me back. But at the end of the day, like, 
you know, you're my girl, you're, you're my person. I want to help you. So, but I won't do that with just anybody, you know, like you got to, you got to prove yourself. Yeah. You like can, no matter how much you trust that person with that money or say you're going to, you're going to pay you back. Mm -hmm. It's like, you always got to like gamble with yourself. Like I'm going to give it to you, but I'm not expecting it back. Yeah. Like I will hope for you to right. repay me back. Like, right. I hope you pay like, me back. But like I already have that in my mind. Like I'm I'm willing to lose this five hundred bucks. And yeah. if you can, like if you have it, I, I mean Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can't lose a thousand, but I can lose five hundred for you. I just don't want you to ask for money and then I'm gonna see you on the weekend <laughs> spending. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They they spend that. your money? The, like, With the bottle <laughs> and bottle <laughs> service. Wait, didn't you just ask for a hundred bucks because you didn't have money for the week, but now yeah. you're out? Buying a round of shots or like, whatever I fun, the case I just funded this VIP. Well, I'll give you your money back. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Crazy. It, again, it's just like, I'm not a, I'm not going to, I expect you to pay me back when you told me. And if you don't, just just know that, like, that trust that we had there. Yeah, it's yeah, not going to happen again. Look, I'll lend you the money the first time around. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay it back, that's on you, right? Just know that the next time that you ask for money, it's just not going to happen. Like, give it away I'm not a now. bank. Like, like, straight up. Like, why would you even ask No te voy a pedir el dinero. Because people don't have vergüenza. Or they can't. <laughs> or they can't. Or they're on credit. For me, I'm like, ooh. I have no issue. I'd be embarrassed to even ask right? for money. Right? Like, straight up. I'd be embarrassed like, to even get go outside of my house after I ask someone, somebody for money. I'd be embarrassed to be in the same Dude. room as you. My yeah. Just get, just get like, a loan. Go, go in debt. I know you let me borrow 200 Like, I'm not expecting you to pay again. Like, hey, bro, like, I got you. Right. Because yeah. I think it, that's happened more. It happens to everybody. Like, oh, I let this fool borrow 100 bucks. Now we're going to go eat or... Oh, bro, do you remember? I, I paid for x Oh, I'm like, ah, oh, wait, estás cobrando. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. So now so it's that's like, how it is. oh, that's it's so all in one check? Nah, nah, split it. He they got this, itemize got it. This. Don't yeah. worry about it. I, itemize it? <laughs> he drank half of that. That's crazy. <laughs> Put it on. That's I got one appetizer. He got the whole arm oh, That's God. all I got to say. I... <laughs> drink most that's of the fish wild. wild. All right, so. He drink most of the fish wild. <laughs> Don't bring that up. No. That's too early. That's too early. <laughs> now, I think it's it's respectable when you go out with a group of friends. Yeah. That if you got it like that, mm -hmm. and if you're comfortable, hey, I'm a, I got first round on me. Mm -hmm. Round for rounds for rounds. Round for round. It's round. it's it's round it's round. safe. Out of save just, money, get more drinks. Better it's time. A fun time. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun and you can't leave it so everybody pays their part. So it's like you bought a round. <laughs> so if you go with ten people, you gotta go with ten people. That's ten drinks. Dang it. Don't respect the There's minimum again. five shots right here. Oh, six shots of Ziggy too. Jeez. <laughs> I got <you> Ziggy. He, <laughs> he's down for the. He's down for it. Yeah. He didn't say no. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now nah, I think friendships are something that you keep. When you have the right friends around you, is the ones that you you got to keep them mm -hmm. intact. You got to protect them at all costs because to find a group of friends that how you said last time that could be for life, it comes one in a million. And to build, be able to build that trust up from beginning to end, like, it's very, very hard. Because mm -hmm. now people will do anything to get one up on you. So if you have that one person, right, or a group of people that have been there for you without expecting anything in return, keep them. Right. Do everything, they, do everything you can from your part to help them better their life and help them elevate. And don't take their money because <laughs> it's If gonna... you do pay it back. <laughs> yeah, please. Shit. That's I love our internals. It's it's a good mix. It's a good back and forth. It's, it's a good, a good Yeah. Again, shout out TikTok for the stuff since. Oh, hey, well Jose though. didn't like it. Jose <laughs> didn't like I it. That but I hate it. I'm not playing this game again. <laughs> it's not a game. God, you it's literally throw it outside, you're like, nah nah. I don't wanna play this. <laughs> I appreciate everybody that has followed, subscribed. We're about to hit like two hundred and three thousand followers in IG. Two hundred and three shots flying them. God. Get shot, Get shot for every shot, a shot for every follower. Let's not even say TikTok. Done. TikTok, we're at four hundred and forty-one thousand. I said what I said. <laughs> every follower on YouTube. Every follower on YouTube. <laughs> so, again, comment down. What do you guys want to see more? What kind of questions? What kind of topics? But again, this game of substance. If you guys haven't gotten on TikTok, I think it was like forty bucks. Makes for a good game and good content if that's the route that you want to take or just to get one and get to know each other a little bit more on a di cry. different level a little deeper level deeper mm -hmm. level so i'm gonna go with mind fuck mind what? All right, so this one on 
Oh, no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the código. I'll get it right now. All right. Given a chance, would you restart your life with the current knowledge? I wouldn't. Don't copy. Don't copy my answer, my boy. No. It has to be different. I remember no, my no. answer. That's no. Such a rabbit hole. That's crazy. Yeah. No, I wouldn't because I I believe in this uh, ten toes down where it's. I am the way I am because I had to go through everything from beginning to end, from losing my loved ones, losing myself, relationships, becoming a father, fucking up things, and just all around. If I didn't go through those experiences, I wouldn't be who I am now. And it's funny because right before we walked in, uh, it said, the person that has fallen and failed 20 times when he gets up the 21st time and succeeds he he lives that triumph like i i fucking did it so things things like this make me feel good because i know how much it took for us to get here so i wouldn't i wouldn't change it i wouldn't want it any other way i have who i have around me the things i have in my life were meant to be and i just wouldn't change it because i i I wouldn't want to see my life any different than what it is now so that's a great answer thank you (laughs) (laughs) my turn oh i'm nervous but all right she had the whole stack (laughs) (laughs) she's like i don't don't like this one i I don't like this one last time that's why i can't answer the same question i answered that one okay i'm sorry i'm sorry take one of these take one of these which one okay just give me Okay, I'll take I'll take this one. Okay. All right. How do you move on from a past relationship? For me, what the best strategy has been is to remind myself of what that person did and how they made me feel at that moment, and those are the reasons why I don't want to feel like that again and I won't go back. That is how I move on from past relationships because, you know, you can miss somebody. You're like, it's, you know, it, it gets crazy. It gets messy. But at the end of it all, it's it's like, what did you do to me? How did you make me feel? I felt terrible when that was happening. And I don't want to feel like that again. So I'm not going to put myself through that situation again. What about you, Becca? Next um, what message would you tell your favorite person? So I don't think I have a favorite person. I have favorite people and a lot of favorite people. Which is us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, like everyone's my best friend, so. <laughs> hundred best friends. I have a lot of best friends. Honey. Um, just that I love them and I'm glad that they're alive. That's it. Okay, hate you. Uh, have you ever been suicidal? That's intense. That is intense. Dang. Yeah, twice. Um, the first time it was, it's been a while. It's been like 10 years. <laughs> Why? No, no, no. Because. Yeah, the first time it was like 10 years ago. And around the same time, I found out that I was going to have a niece. So that kind of. Made me want to stick around the first time. And then the second time was what? Like maybe two years ago. I think I was going through some just bad shit. Mentally, I wasn't all that great. And then, uh, yeah. And then I joined the pod and I made friends. And I realized, you know what? It does get better. And I think those have just been the two times that I have felt suicidal. Or just been in a really, really dark place. But, yeah. We're glad you're here. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. That's I'm glad I'm here too. That's a clap right there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh yes. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we got deep at campsite with this one last time. <laughs> no, we did. It's crazy. Um, oh, not too bad. Huh. You, <laughs> you picked it. Do you, I did it. <laughs> Do you feel like you are on track? You are on track in life. I would say yes. Um, at one point, I thought I, I didn't because I had left my 9 to 5, like a really good 9 to 5, 
I had um, not been so present with just like having like family around, I guess. <laughs> but I feel like now I am on track in life. Um, obviously, it's not finished yet, and I would like to see because I have big uh, envisions with my with what I'd have to do. So I feel like I am in that good headspace and good track now. Love it. Good. Was it done? And, and just it, like that. I know. I think, like again, at, at the end of the day, the day ends. That's right. And this concludes right. another episode of A Toast to Life. <laughs> most authentic, most organic. At the end of the day, you go to bed. A toast. A toast. A toast. <laughs> con la, you guys. Con el hielo. Con el hielo. Con el hielo. To toast. A toast. Cheers. Appreciate everybody Cheers. that tunes in, that subscribes, that shares. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, water That's down. <laughs>